a lot going on. Lester's never gonna believe this. Huh? You ready to be upset with what I'm about to tell you? Go ahead. Looking all guilty right there. A little bit. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean you're not guilty, okay? So, I walked up to Love on White Kitty. And uh, as I got closer, I saw something wrong with this picture. And I wanted to know if you can see what's wrong with this picture. For reference... I'm on the back side of Longhorn Lester's behind the little shop out here, the little tractor storage. Anybody see anything wrong? Anybody. I'm not talking about the neighbor, the abandoned neighbor back there. That, that property is not ours. I'm talking about this. What happened? And why? And how? And why? And why does it look like it's a longhorn head that made that happen? Here's the trick though. This is why I know it's not. It is not a horse or a donkey. Do you wanna know why I know it's not a horse or a donkey that did that? Do you know why, Kitty? There is no hair. Which, now longhorns don't have long hair. And this one here is, is like a, a little viney thing. This is not, uh, that's not hair at all, actually. That's something that has been growing right there. This something, which has been eaten down. So it may not be Longhorn either, but what the heck else would grow right here like this? Yes, I have just as many questions as you. As I'm looking... I'm also realizing here's another spot that has been, we'll call it manipulated. Why? There's not a big tree or anything that's pushed anything down. I don't get it. Like it all. Now, I would like to point out that I came by and did clips. Every post that I was assigned to. And these are meant for barbed wire and T-post. Where it's moved, kindly note, is the less sturdy of tactics. And that would be metal zip ties. Now metal zip ties are great because obviously they're not going to dry rot in the sun, but they are harder to keep in place. Whenever you have something big that's manipulating this, I'm here to tell you, <clears throat> whatever pushed that down was big, real big. White kitty, right here on video, huh? That's what you're gonna do? Okay. <sighs> so, I uh, I would like to make note that when we were building this fence, we did run out of clips and we used metal zip ties on certain posts in between the clipped post to give it as much integrity as we could possibly give it. Clearly, someone found our weak spots. Someone being a longhorn, someone maybe being a donkey. Maybe I'm wrong about that part. We don't have bears here. I don't think that a pig can get up that high. Wild pig, baby. We don't have any. None of our beautiful babies would do that. No, they wouldn't. But, and no tree fell because obviously it would be here. So I can only imagine that it's one of our animals trying to reach. That. Oh my goodness, kitty baby. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. I don't see anything else in the rest of the fence line here. But still worth a discussion. That um, And a full on inspection. 
Let's just take a walk through here and see. There have been many days where I have seen the horses and the horse and donkey, the horse and donkey being Dixie and Beverly back here. Guys, this was a disaster. This was a tree root. Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. This has been manipulated. Look at this. There are two big old hoof things. And look, this is a clip that was once attached. Do you see that? Yes, I'm in flip-flops out here and I shouldn't be. I didn't anticipate this, this happening. I came to pet the cat and all of that happened. Look at those two giant prints. There were two or three T-posts that we bent when we were putting them in because they hit a root. We left them bent because they weren't, they were between two excellent ones and as close to this and we just clipped them to the T-post as is. That's not where it was. Uh, here's the crazier part. Okay. I don't think this is one of those T-posts that was bent. Because it looks like it's actually been moved. That something, something being text probably, bent a T-post to the side, not even backwards. Why? What's so good right here? Also don't understand that. Lester's gonna say, no, 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 that's a Lester fence. That didn't happen. Well, Y'all are seeing it with me. Something ain't right. We're gonna have to get some more clips from Tractor Supply. And come down here and remove all these zip ties or at least go around them and put actual clips because something's weird. Super weird, actually. Now, Lester's in the barn feeding. Don't think that that's like some crazy event that's happening. But look at this. Somebody's been sharpening their horns back here. Hmm. Look at that. I'm not kidding. This wasn't like that. They've eaten all of the brush off of this tree. Like all the green off of this tree, which is fine. That's what it's here for. But somebody's been sharpening their dang horns back here too. <sighs> There's a lot going on. Buster's never gonna believe this. Let's finish walking this fence line and just make sure there's no other spots before we tell him what's going on. Cause he's not gonna believe me at all. He's gonna have to see it to believe it. I am pleased to see that there's not a lot else to share. Thank goodness, because he might lose it. No, this actually looks really good all the way down. Yep. He's going to hate what I'm about to tell him. You ready to hate what I'm about to tell you? Huh? You ready to be upset with what I'm about to tell you? Go ahead. We got a fence problem. A fencing problem? Yeah. Where? On the barbed wire fence. Come look with me. I'm not making it up. It's not funny. Looking all guilty right there. A little bit. Just because you have a baby doesn't mean you're not guilty, okay? I can pretty much take a guess at who did which part. And it wasn't Jolene. That's right, ma'am. You cannot blame that baby. Okay. So, this one. I don't think we actually did this because it's moved. And look at this clip. And look at the two prints right here. So that would be cows. So the footprints would be cows. They'd probably get around here laying around, pushing around. And, and that's the way I thought too. They get to pushing and then they can, they're very strong. Okay. They're scared. That's what and I thought too. i them way over here a lot. Yes, I just, I said that. I was like, actually, I've, I've actually caught them here quite a bit. All right. Uh, evidence number two. 
Okay. Evidence number two. Yeah. Evidence. What do you call that? Like, uh, like when you're presenting in a court case of like. So what would have pushed it down? Yeah. So here's what it was. So you know that longhorns are known for uh, eating foliage more yeah. than just grass. They're one of the most hardy cows out there. So they find these musky dime leaves probably very tasteful. Yes, probably. And been leaning over to eat them. And over time, they just press this down. Okay. We, we used a zip tie here, not a clip. I said those exact words, so, so I'm happy that you say that. But so it was crazy that I couldn't... stronger, zip ties are easier. Yeah. So we've always had to weigh that out. And we, they didn't now. give us enough clips that time, so this is what we had to do. Look, you can see they've nipped off. They've been eating the ends of these. Oh, you're right. As part of, well, that, but here's what it attests to. The lack of nutrition on the pasture. It is. It's a very bad time. for whatever they can get. Yeah. Which maybe we should put them over into our goat pasture for a couple of days. That's not a horrible idea. All Instead right. Of starting to reach through our fence to eat. Exhibit number one or number three yeah, in this exhibit. order. Exhibit, not exhibit evidence. Order. Exhibit. So we also used the zip tie here. We didn't use a clip. I agree. I said the same words. And so I. Well, yeah. Look at here. So they find uh, these very I tasty. I missed that. They find these very tasty. I don't know what they are. But just like our goats have been trying to forage around and need stuff to eat, the cows are also in desperate need of certain So things. here's what I was looking at. I actually looked at right here. I said, you know what? This had previously been growing onto here. Yeah. So, <laughs> why Kitty wanted to show me all of this. This was part of her agenda today. Boy, it's tight. Yeah, the cows just put their faces in there, baby. Okay. Right well, I just, I got nervous about, I don't know what's going on, but you're right. It's about foraging yeah, and longhorns will eat green things so do you think we should would be wise to put them into our goat pasture uh when, with the woods maybe it's raining now they don't have shelter over there. let's leave them here to this rain boy this rain is great let's focus on rain for a little while all right look at this Jamie. i feel like we need a rain dance can you do one for me what is the one at the house? well come on morrow